Happy New Year! Happy New Year, my friends. Glad to have you back at school, even if it is virtual. Um, and so today, what we are going to do is celebrate the New Year. Woohoo! So, get a piece of paper. You will need a number two pencil and crayons or colored pencils or markers, but you will definitely need a number two pencil today aside from crayons or colored pencils, okay? So get that and your piece of paper and we will start. Don't forget, you can pause the video as needed to keep up with the drawing. Here we go. La, 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 la. Let me get you into position. And there is my paper. Okay. I'm using it long ways today. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, with your number two pencil, my friends, in the middle of your paper, you want to make a big C, like this. Which is really going to be a circle in a minute. So there's my part of my C and a backwards C. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just do your best. You got a pencil, do your best. If you have a plate or something big and around, you can use that. Okay, so that is that with my number two pencil. <clears throat> now I am going to use um, orange for my number two pencil because, you know, I'm on dry erase. So I have to improvise. So you will use your number two pencil. After we get this done, you'll see why it's important to use a number two pencil. So I'm just going to come up over here and I'm just going to start making a zigzag all the way around my drawing, my circle. Okay. Oops. Let me make that one connect. All right. Okay, it looks like a starburst, doesn't it? Okay, so now we're going to come and we're going to connect these with your number two pencil. I am using orange dry erase, but you're using a number two pencil. All right, nice. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw a line across here, down here, down here, and down here. And then I'm just going to make squares or rectangles, whichever you prefer. Okay, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. And we may have some commentary from my dogs because they're a little upset. They're not in here today, but that's the way life is sometimes. Okay, so we got that. The next thing we're going to do is little circles. We want to leave room for what we're going to write inside here. Okay, so these are going to be little circles all the way around. Do, 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 do. <laughs> There, boom. And then you want to take a black crayon or a black magic marker or a black colored pencil, because this is all in number two pencil. And with your black crayon or colored pencil, 2021. Oh yeah, we're making the ball. The ball's dropping. Yeah. This time in Miss W's art class, woohoo! We're gonna drop the ball, we're gonna have the clock, we're gonna have fireworks, balloons, oh, it's a party. Okay, so before we do anything, because this is all in number two pencil, we're gonna leave that for a second. And we are going to come over here and draw a circle, because that's gonna be my clock. Well, maybe you know what, or you know what, it might be easier if it's a, a square clock. 
because it'll be easier maybe to write the numbers on. Because the last clock I did was round and it was not that easy. Okay, got a big rectangle. That's nice. So, you know, up here you got your 12, which means down here you have your 6. Okay. So over here I have my 9 and then I have my 3. So now I got to put 1 and 2 between here. 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 and 7 and 8, 10 and 11. Got my 4 going sideways. Why? I don't know. 2. Okay. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Woohoo! I think I'm going to make the hands on this clock red. And it's going to be at midnight because it's party time. See how I did that? And then there's going to be another little, little one that says midnight. They're both on. 12 o'clock. Woohoo! Party time. Okay. So that's done. Then I think I'm just going to make some ovals. Now, these are going to be balloons. I'm going to be attaching strings to them in a little bit. I just want to get some of them out there. And then over here, I'm going to do a couple. And I'm going to put some blue balloons, uh, maybe some turquoise balloons. Got some turquoise balloons going on. And maybe some um, pink. Got to have some pink. Oh, big pink one right here. And a pink one down here. Okay. So... Now I got my balloons, so I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to attach a string. I'm using yellow. You can use black, red, whatever you want. So I'm just going to go like this. Put a little zigzag on it. Because somebody let these balloons go, so they're out bouncing around. And I'm going to do the same over here for these balloons. Meow, 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 meow. See how they got away? So let me move this closer so you can see it. See, I got little strings on my balloons. Midnight. What else? Oh, we need some confetti, I think. But before confetti, I'm going to take you over here for some fireworks. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use purple. Ooh. You can almost hear them, huh? And then I'm going to have a big red one. Um, blue. Big blue one. Fireworks. Now I'm going to do some uh, confetti, I think. So, let me see. I'm going to have some red confetti. You can use whatever colors you like. But what about our drawing? Well, we're going to get all this done first. Confetti, Happy New Year! Woohoo! Okay. And let me see what other color. Purple, you know, got to use purple. Miss W's favorite color. Put some purple in there. Bum, bum, bum. Popping. This picture's popping now. It's New Year's. It's popping. Look at that. I'm going to put some up there, too. Confetti's all around because the ball's dropping. The ball is dropping. Bing, 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 bing. Okay. All right. Now, we've got everything done except our pride and joy, the ball that's dropping. Okay, so we are going to use colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. 
okay? And you're going to say, why, why is that? Well, because we want this to really pop out. So two colors that are opposite on the color wheel are purple and yellow. Purple and yellow are opposites. Also opposites are blue and orange. Blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel. And also red and green. Red and green are opposites. So what colors that you want to use that are opposites is up to you. You can either use purple and yellow and then blue and orange together. Or you could use red and green and blue and orange, purple and yellow and red and orange, okay? But we want to use colors that are opposite. All right. So I am going to start with my purple and yellow because we all know Miss W likes purple. So we did this in number two pencil so that when we get done, it looks like a big Swarovski crystal ball dropping. And we don't want to see, uh, you know, lines in between and stuff. So when you're coloring this, that's why we use the number two pencil. Okay, now I want you to notice. Oh, there. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to pull it up. When I go to the yellow now. See, these are opposites on the color wheel. So when you put them side by side, they pop. I personally like to wear a lot of purple and yellow because they're cute together. And there, and there. Boom. See that? Okay, now I'm going to use red and green. I think I'm going to use red and green because they're opposites for my rectangles. So I'm coming in here quickly. You take your time. I'm going to do my rectangles. Okay. La, 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 la. As you know, I like to hum and make noises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I hope you all had a very nice holiday. I relaxed and I was dog sitting, so I had an extra little pup here. I had my friend's dog, Cinnabon. She came to visit. So there was four dogs in the house instead of three, but that's okay because I love animals. She's still here actually. They're going to pick her up uh, this weekend. There. Now, I did it quickly, but you take your time so there's no white spots. Okay, now I'm going to do the green. Now, notice when I fill this in, see how it pops? It kind of pops. So if you take your time with your colored pencils or your crayons or magic markers would probably be good for this. Um, and hopefully you all got some. Um, dollar store, you can always get a big, big, big box of crayons there for a dollar. And they have colored pencils too. Um, but I guess if it was me, I'd rather have a box of 64 crayons than 12 colored pencils. Because there's more you can do with that. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of all this white, but. So as you see, as I fill this in, especially on the red and green, uh, it's looking pretty cool. Hmm. Let me just go over some of that with the red again, because it's... But as you see, when you color this all in and take it right to the edges, that's why the color with the, um, can't even talk, with the um, 
number two pencil. You won't see the pencil lines after you do this. It'll look like it's a um, stained glass Swarovski crystals. Ooh, for New Year's. Okay. All right, that's as good as I'm going to get right now with this. Okay, so you see how that fills in? Now you can see the purpleness. Now the out part, yep, I'm going with the blue and the orange. I'm going to do a blue. I think I'm going to do blue, and then I'm going to do orange on the other one. So let me go around here like this. Try this to do this quickly. Or a good word, new vocabulary word, expeditiously. That means quickly. Mm -hmm. I hope you all got something good for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Some people don't, and that's cool. Um, I got some clothes. Can't complain. And... And I'm uh, still using, yes, my Android Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S9 Plus. Because I don't like to buy new phones every time a phone comes out. Nope. The phone I had before I got that one was the Razer. <laughs> Motorola Razer. Remember those? I had that thing for like five years. And then before that, I had that little Nokia that uh, all you could do is text and phone on. There was no internet on it. I don't need all that fancy stuff, but... Now that's all the phones are coming with the internet, you know. I guess I'll have to fall in line with that. Okay, this is going to take you a while when you do this at home. Okay. But I'm just showing you how this is going to look with all the colors that are on opposite of the color wheel. Okay, because after this, all I got to do is the orange, and then it's going to be really popping. And then we got something else to do after the coloring. Oh, you thought we were just going to have a real quick, hey, drawing, and no, no, no. We are going to be writing a New Year's resolution on the back. Well, I don't have a back to this dry erase board, so I will have to write it on the front here somewhere. But you can just flip over your paper, and I'll help you with the spelling and getting it set up in a sentence. And then it's resolution. That means something you want to improve on, do better this year. Okay, maybe it's something like, oh, to play less Minecraft. Yeah, right. Okay, that's a good one. Play less video games. Maybe my New Year's resolution is to get more exercise. Or my New Year's resolution is to... Help my mom or dad out a little more around the house. Or maybe my resolution is to take the dogs for a walk every day, which hasn't been happening because they got a fenced-in yard, so why bother? Um, don't eat junk food could be another one. Eat healthier. Um... Oh, mine was to get better at um, arts and crafts. So over the break, I took a class. It's called a glass fusion art class. And what it is, is you cut different colors of glass. And you stack them. And then they go into a kiln. And they melt together and they fuse. And they make something. 
Okay, so I made some bookmarks and I made um, a necklace. So some of those I gave out for Christmas presents. So sometimes it's fun to make stuff. And that was something new because I'm not very um, crafty. You know, I can do art, but crafts, you know, not so much. So now the end of January, I'm going to take a stained glass class to make stained glass. I thought that would be kind of fun. So my niece and I, we, that's that's who goes with me. We do this together. It's our little fun time. Um, and now my marker is getting some black on it, so it's not looking so orange, and that's not good. So I have to be careful of the lines here myself. So oh, I'm picking up on the blue. La, 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 la. Now, black and white are actually opposite colors. So if you don't have any colored pencils or crayons and you are using just a number two pencil, you can shade this in different shades, okay? Maybe this will be like dark, dark graphite, dark pencil, and then lighter and then do dark and light together. So there's different ways of doing this, If you, even if you don't have um, art supplies. If you just have a number two pencil, you're good to go. Um, so there it is. My 2021. Woohoo! And then I'm pulling it back. Now you got my whole effect here, okay? Got the clock at midnight. Got fireworks. Got balloons, confetti. What more is there to life, my friends, than that? Okay, my resolution. That's what there is to do. And I'm going to spell that for you. And I'm going to write mine up here. You can flip your paper over on the back. Okay, so I'm going to erase my little fireworks and stuff so that I can write across here. I'm going to erase my clock probably. But you can just flip your paper over and you can write on the back your resolution. So... And here's how we write it. I'm going to start over here. My M Y resolution R E S O L U T I O N. Okay. This one so you can see it better. My resolution. is to eat and I'm going to write here less junk food I eat too much fast food oh I should probably put fast food because junk food no I'm talking about fast food Give me some Popeyes. Give me some uh, McDonald's. I'm good to go. Yeah. Exclamation point. Okay. So, my resolution and how you spell resolution is R E S. That's an S. O L U T. I O N. Resolution. I had a student saying revolution. No, a revolution is something that turns and spins. A resolution is different. Okay. My resolution is to eat less fast food. Okay. So, what I want you to do is come up with your own good New Year's resolution. And once you are done with your drawing, I want you to take a picture of it with your phones, because I know you all got phones. Uh-huh. Um, and then send it to my Schoology email so I can grade it, okay? Um, unless you're one of those students who never loses anything, because I've had students say that, um, you know, oh, my paper got ripped, this or that. No, 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 no excuses. If you missed a class, you need to take a picture of your drawing and send it to my Schoology email. 
I need the actual drawing. Do not send me an email that says I did it or done because I didn't see it. I need a photograph of your drawing sent to my email so that I can grade it. How do you like my hat, by the way? I'm liking it. You know what's cool about this hat is if I take it and I go like this. Oh, look, now I'm a unicorn. Oh, I'm a unicorn. Okay. And that's my fun for the day. Um, I will see you guys next week, okay? Have a good one, my friends. Have a happy new year. And don't forget that resolution. Bye.